We want to find the successor of a set, the empty set, and the set that contains the empty set. So the successor of a set is basically the set itself union, the set of itself. So if we were to write it in notation, it will be like the set of, and then you have the elements of A, and then a comma, the set, and then you just rewrite the elements of A. So in other words, you're just writing the elements of A twice. The first time is just, you just separate it with a comma. The second time, you separate the comma, but you put it inside the curly braces. So now, if we call this set A, we're looking at A union, the set of A, which is the successor of set A. You list out everything. You basically list out A, so that's the empty set and the set that contains the empty set. So this is set A. And then comma, you're just going to rewrite A again, but you're going to put a curly brace around it. Okay, so this is the set of A. And so this is going to be our final answer.